Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. Ready? man happy friday we finally made it to the weekend man which means tomorrow's above the room is going to be very very fun tune in at 313 jimbo smoke channel as we tune in for the very first ever detroit pistons fantasy draft where we're going to be going through trying to make the best team possible involving all past present detroit pistons so stay tuned for that that'll be tomorrow on his channel stay tuned but today we're back and talking about the detroit pistons talking about Derek rose and talking about blake griffin so uh, for those of you guys who haven't been following up on all the news and stuff, the Detroit Pistons are starting their own bubble where they'll be able to compete and practice within the organization's players. There will be no other team coming into Detroit. Detroit will not be leaving to play in other cities or anything like that. It's going to be for training purposes, for practices and stuff like that. And um, our two best players, Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose, will not be participating in them, which is kind of a little slap in the face, but I'm not surprised by it. Um, I never thought going into this thing that if we ever had a second bubble that they would play at all but uh starting you know get the pieces together where it's only gonna be detroit pistons i figured they'd at least go in there and you know just goof around a little bit that being said i don't know if they'll be there at all it's kind of sad you kind of want that from your best players i'm not saying that they're not and i don't know all i know is they won't be participating in it but um it's kind of it's kind of a slap in the face to me a little bit because I want the young guys to just see how hard these guys work and how serious you have to take practice the off season so that way you can get to where Blake and Derrick Rose have been in their careers. You know, a lot of these guys look up to those two players. They have to accomplish a lot of individual goals. So if I'm a young guy, I want to learn from them. I want to see what they do and how they got there because that's how that's how I work. You know, like if I see someone who's better at something than me. I watch them because I want to see what they're doing. How can I get there? You know, um, again, that's just the competitor in me. I want to be the best person I can possibly be. And I'm sure we got some young guys in the locker room who have that same drive and that same will as well. So I'm sure that they're going to go in here. They're going to have more opportunities. But at the, at the flip side, it gives Dwayne Casey more time to work with these young guys one on one, showing them the mistakes they're doing, correcting those mistakes. This is very important for the Detroit Pistons young core. They need this time. They haven't played basketball in months. And when you're trying to uh, <clears throat> develop younger guys, the more basketball, the more training, the more practices, the better. So these young guys should take another leap in their development stage. I've been saying that since this whole COVID stuff started because I knew that they're going to have more time to work out on their games and get their bodies ready. So I'm very excited to watch or at least listen or read what's happening over there because I don't know if we play on TV or not. But no Blake, no Derrick Rose. That's all fine and dandy to me because on the flip side of them not being there, they get to be healthy. So uh, for Blake and Derrick Rose, what they need to continue to do is just, you know, practice at home, go to the gym, uh, watch some film, break it down, um, and then, you know, just be the best teammates you can possibly be, which they're great teammates. You can't say anything bad about them there. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, i seen a report. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it in a different video, but the Detroit Pistons are likely not going to be moving on from Blake Griffin this offseason. So... I'm not surprised by that one either. I think that if the Pistons are going to be moving on from Blake Griffin, they'll be around the trade deadline. I think that'll be the, as soon as possible for the Detroit Pistons if it ever happens. But I think the best bet for them, because all the trade packages I've seen reported from like Bleacher Report, ESPN, and you know just the fans, it's trading Blake Griffin away for a terrible contract. Blake's contract's not pretty uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So I think the best bet for them is just ride it out, dump it out. We're not struggling for salary cap right now. Don't make a move that's going to you know, affect that at all. So, uh, above the rim tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune in for that one. Leave your comments down below. I'll be sure to read all of them. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, DSA website, DSA channel. All in the description. Check it all out. And I will see you guys on Above the Rim tomorrow night, man. You guys have a good weekend. Stay safe. And that's the bottom line because Double D said so. Peace. Yeah.